was announced by Governor Tony Evers earlier this year. For those of you concerned about environmental and sustainability, rest assured, the project is being designed to meet the highest level of Wisconsin green built home standards. Uh, and you can tell in the DNA of this organization is that res resiliency has been a thing that's been very important to this city. We're always talking about cities uh, in the post-industrial times as to, you know, it was easy to plan a city when you had jobs that were in, within the, the boundaries of the city. But now we are all in this, and it's happening all over the state, if not the nation, and understanding what is the future of our cities when manufacturing is not necessarily within the cities. We walked through the uptown neighborhood, and this was all sort of at the core and center of uh, all the activity here, thanks to the mayor's vision and so many others, it soon will be a very vibrant educational community center. But uh, so that's gonna be so important, but of course, nothing would work without affordable housing. And you know, we know today, when you look at economic development, when you look at the needs of businesses, and we've had the good fortune at the Department of Revenue to administer in conjunction with uh, uh, Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, the We're All In grants, the Tomorrow grants, and uh, many of the others uh, were just starting the uh, hotel and lodging grant program with our partners at the Department of Administration. And, uh, but we hear all the time from CEOs the trouble and challenges of finding work. 